character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency, science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. Who we are as a nation, what we stand for, and most importantly, who we want to be, that's all on the ballot. How old are you, 17? And the choice could not be more. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! All right. Okie dokie. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so there's a new initiative that Donald Trump is pushing out there, and it's starting to catch fire. I remember when I was younger, I waited tables. Matter of fact, my first waiting Woo! job was with the Capitol Grill. It's a fine steakhouse. And now it's kind of a franchise. But in Miami, it first came in Brickle. I start waiting tables and, you know, start seeing cash coming through. At the end of the year, with all this cash, I had to pay taxes. And I didn't know what the hell. I was, what, 25, I think, 24, 25 when I started doing this? And paying taxes? I mean, I had to write a check? Ugh, that was, like, the worst. No! Because, again, I didn't know. It was just cash coming in. Nobody told me that, you know, you have to put some aside for taxes. I was just spending when it comes, you know? And I was making good money as a server. Woo! What, 24, 25? You know what I'm saying? And... When I moved, I moved up to Atlanta and I went from fine dining to sports bars and, you know, it starts going lower and lower. But anyway, I learned the hard way. At the end of the year, taxes, you got to write up a check. At the time, we were like six, seven hundred dollars to the state and then one to the feds. I'm like, oh my God, this was the worst, you know? So Mr. Trump here is pushing this initiative. No tax on tips. We got six votes. We don't even need the votes. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it quick. No tax on tips. Okay, it's done. Done. And we need to spread the word so that every time you leave a tip for the next five months, you put on the receipt. Vote for Trump. Because there's no tax on tips. It's a great idea. You know, there's a lot of people here who's, who works on tips. And again, like myself, there's a lot of college students that do, that, that work on tips, your first job. And you don't know tips like that. You know, it's not coming out your check. You got to write your own check and send it to the government. Nobody want to do that. Not no 21, 25-year-old. Nobody want to do that. President Donald Trump, he spent his Saturday making his pitch to voters here in Detroit, Michigan. He spent his time across two separate events, first stopping by the historically black church, 180 Church, and then going to the Turning Point Convention downtown. At both venues, he echoed a policy that the businessman vows will go into effect if he takes office. That is no tax on tips. I will eliminate taxes on Tips for restaurant workers and hospitality workers and anyone else relying on tips. No more taxes on tips. No taxes on tips. None. But of course, you know, you got the lefties who's coming out and bashing it. You know, these are the same folks, right? They want to raise your minimum wage and think that's going to generate some income. And we see what's going on in California, for instance. 
Yeah. Rubio's Coastal Grill is closing 48 of its restaurants in California, including 24 of them here in Southern California. The news has shocked employees who, by the way, only found out about this on Friday. Rubio's owners blame the rising cost of doing business in California. The closures come weeks after a $20 an hour minimum wage hike for fast food workers went into effect. Gavin Newsom raised the minimum wage to $20 and instantly you saw the effect. You see fast food restaurants are closing down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Minimum wage raise is not the answer. Cutting taxes is the answer. People who work for tips is going to love this idea. I did talk with some hotel workers yesterday, some service workers here in Las Vegas about how that is playing with them. And Anne-Marie, about six people told me that would change their vote. That is enough to make them switch from voting Democrat to Republican if Donald Trump is promising something like that to them. If you think that's a good idea, no tax on tips, what do you think is another great idea? Alcohol tax. Trump's tip tax or getting mm -hmm. rid of the tip tax yeah. has become very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, I like getting rid of taxes. I wonder what other taxes you'd suggest a an incoming Trump administration might want to get rid of. Well, you're right. Genius to not tax tips. Several million people pay get paid in tips. Tens of millions during the course of their life have. There are a lot of 70-year-olds who remember tips, uh, and this, this uh, makes sense to them. I think we should take a look at the beer and liquor tax. This is a hangover from prohibition. If the states want to tax it, why should the federal government do that sort of thing? Of course, the left doesn't like this idea because they didn't think of it first. They don't like cutting no taxes. They want to raise taxes and raise minimum wage. And, you know, it gives you the adverse effect. This has become a big meme on X as well. People posting the receipts that they yeah. left uh, at the restaurant. Uh, some of those folks are real big tippers. Look at this guy. He had a $60 bill and he tipped $60. And they wrote on there, vote Trump and you won't be paying tax on these tips. Of course, if you're getting a tip of $60 on a $60 bill, you could probably afford to pay the taxes. Well, they don't <laughs> always happen that way. And, you know, they do when, not. when you work in that industry, which so many of us have, you live for that day where somebody's feeling very generous and you want to take yeah. as much of that home as possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's, it, it's going to be very, very popular in places that are hubs for service, like uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. If, if Trump could flip Clark County, uh, in Nevada, that would be huge, and that yeah. would definitely lead to him winning the state. There's another one of those receipts. Somebody writing no tax on tips as yeah. they turned it in. All right. Now, you already know there's one demographic here who is not going to write this no tax on tips because they don't tip at all. Should I name them? How about a picture? I'll give you a little picture here. Yeah. They don't tip. So... It's this exclude y'all. Y'all not no big tippers, so don't worry about it. All right. This is only for <laughs> big boss men who tip 20, 25% right on the check. No tax on tip. Vote for Trump. You see that? That was done. See the screen? That was done by somebody. They voted. This is a person paying. And they said, vote for Trump, there'll be no tax on tips. That's a person that was not, that was a tipster as opposed to a tippy. All right, if you put $5 here over a $100 check, we're not talking about you cheap asses, all right? We're not talking about you. You vote for, you vote for Biden. But if you know, you know. If you worked in the service industry, you already know. This is going to help out your pockets. It's going to help out the economy. You don't have to write that check, you know, at a 21, 22, 25 year old. You don't have to write that check to the government. Okay. So you give them the opportunity to take your money and send it to, uh, Ukraine or something. Okay. Oh. So this is going to cut 7% of the population who works for tips money back in your pocket. All right. So great idea, Trump. Let's keep it going. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi.
<laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you non-tipping Democrats, get your ass off my lawn.